This is recipe three of our meal plan designed to help you get more fruit and veg into your diet. And it is an incredible lentil dish, either a wholesome meal in itself or a side dish to grilled meats or grilled fish. We've got lentils and kale, which are kind of earthy and irony, sweet apple, sweet potato. It's going to be delicious. Four portions. Four portions in one plate. Four portions. Four portions. <laughs> portions. And it starts with sweet potato, which I'm going to pre prep up while you are going to strip strip some, some time. time. And then we need salt, pepper, and oil, and we'll combine it with all of our diced sweet potato. Decent. And then that goes into a preheated oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius until it's soft. While the potato's roasting off, we can look at the next ingredient, which is a portion, again, because it's a handful, an apple. Now, we're gonna keep the skin on because so many of the nutrients are just under the skin and or the skin itself when it comes to fibre. So all we're gonna do... I like the skin. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And with an apple, you'd always eat the skin anyway. Mm. But people might be tempted to peel it for a dish like this. I no. don't think you need to. And you're not using a cooking apple either, are you? No, it's a regular eating apple, a Granny Smith. It's quite tart, but that means that as you cook it, it won't go mushy, it'll hold its form. So that can go into our frying pan. Called Granny and Tart. With a teaspoon of sugar and salt and pepper. Now this is the best bit. So this is mixing the sweet and the tangy. So you've got the apple in there, starting to stew down. In goes the balsamic vinegar, a shot of, and just get a whiff of that. <laughs> I love doing that. So that's the vinegar, and that's it. All I'm gonna do, transfer it into a bowl for later on. The same hot pan, now we go in with all of this. This is Tim like Cahill. a superfood. Mm. It's incredible, really rich in iron. Is it like spinach? In it's got good water retention, so you don't need to cook it in anything. It won't wilt down as much as spinach will, um, more like a cabbage, uh, but it will reduce down a little bit. What's good though, is to help it on its way, just a splash of water, okay. and then as ever, salt and pepper. It looks vibrant, I've got a question. Yes. How do I know it's cooked? Uh, well, you can always taste it, because you can eat raw kale as well, mm -hmm. um, but basically you're looking for something where the stalk is not too tough. I reckon in a pot pan, literally two or three minutes is enough. And the thing to remember about legumes, and by that we mean lentils and beans and pulses, things like that, is that although you can eat them multiple times a day, they only actually count. One portion. Just one portion. So if you have beans on toast at lunch and lentils in the evening, count once, okay? Yes. Now, in with all those previous ingredients. So all of our lentils, at the moment they're cooked, but they're cold. So they go in first and will just help to heat through. Then the apple can go back in with all the balsamic juice and our sweet potatoes, which would have roasted. Mix it all together, job done. Absolutely awesome and wholesome on its own, or perfect as a side dish to grill chicken, pork, fish, whatever you like. And in this instance, by cooking it, it helps your body digest it just that little bit better. Perfect. This is our warm kale and lentil salad, salted. Crunchy sweet apple. Oh, that was nice. Awesome kale. Lentils and the kale stop it being too sweet. Mm. I'm so packed full of nutrients. <laughs> and so are Jamie and Barry. And if you want to see what they cooked, then click in the description down below.